Hello guys, welcome to a video. So today I am going to be continuing a, a series where I show you how you can mod your Wii with each video being a different step in the process. So this part, um, there's going to be two uh, videos, two parts of this, what I've been using to make my levels. So this is the link. This is the only other thing on rvolution.net that I know of that actually works. And I, even that, I don't know how much longer this is going to last, this link. But for now it works, <laughs> unlike the rest of the site. Uh, see, it's all dead. So I put it right in a folder in my desktop. That's what I recommend you do. You don't have to, of course. Uh, you can put it wherever you like, but you're going to end up moving this. You're going to extract this zip. Like, this part of this video specifically isn't going to get into how Reggie works, but I will show you briefly basic, like some of the basics of it. It can be confusing, and I understand it took me a while to learn really what I was doing. So, you have Reggie, uh, open it up, uh, preferably to a level. Reggie comes with a level to practice working with. Yeah, training level. So, these are the tiles here. Uh, each tile is exactly what it looks like. Um pretty much and some of them actually have little descriptions see um <laughs> so let's say i want to put a pipe you make sure this is selected and then to place you actually right click um and to to select stuff you left click and you can select one thing you can yeah um, there's a few different tile sets to choose from. Uh, you can change what tile sets. You can change settings about the level. Um, oops. You can, oh, level, or layers. Um, so basically, layer one is the layer Mario is on and interacts with. This is where most of the level is. Layer two is the background. So some some background things would be like um like this is the background type stuff and then layer 1 is the four is or layer 0 sorry layer 0 is stuff that's in front of mario so that he can actually walk behind it and this is where you you can make your like secret areas like a lot of levels have. Here is sprites. Sprites are a lot different. They're not at all like tiles, except in some ways. So, um, you can mess with sprites however you want. Sprites are pretty much everything in the game. <laughs> Tiles are limited in what they can do. Um, so like, here's a Goomba. That's a sprite. Um, platforms are mostly sprites. Like, the... This is a sprite. <laughs> um, they even have sprites for things that are also blocks or tiles like the pipes and stuff um and some sprites are unused or broken even uh here's one entrances they're important this is how you get into the game <laughs> um this is how you get into the level and for instance you can't have like this pipe It's not enterable right now unless you set an entrance here, pipe facing up, and you can change whether you can enter the pipe. 
that's basically all you need to know for now. The next video is going to get more in depth with how Reggie works and how to use it. But this one is really just a broad overview. Pads, by the way, are pretty self-explanatory. Um, basically, whatever node you've selected, the next, wherever you right-click next, it's going to place an, the next node on that same path. And if you don't select any of the nodes, you're making a new path altogether. <coughs> um, so yeah, Th that's all you need to know for now. Um, now I'm going to show you how to use and get the dumper. Okay, so we're going to dump it. We're going to use the Reggie dumper. And then the next video is going to be actually how to use Reggie, like the more detailed things. So, yeah. Okay, so it worked. That's a good thing. There is a disk in. It will say insert disk, but it that means it's just checking. So, now you can already see what it says to do but I'm still gonna tell you basically if you press a it's only going to download or it's only going to dump just the what's it called it's just gonna dump this stage folder and the texture folder which is like the textures are within the stage folder because that's what that's the only files that you need to that you need to have in order to run Reggie and actually edit levels. If you hit B, you're going to dump the entire disk, all the files on the disk, not just the actual levels, but also like um, the effects. So, as uh, uh, um, uh, world maps, stuff like that. Now, don't like. I don't recommend using B because it's never worked for me in the past. <laughs> um, uh, in like usually I hit B, it gets about like it, it gets to like three files and then just stops and stays frozen for the re for like hours on end, and I end up restarting my Wii, like turning it off, turning it back on. So I don't recommend using B unless you already, ex unless like you, I mean it, nothing bad will happen if you hit B, so, but A is the only thing that's guaranteed to actually work. <laughs> so, so then obviously it, it uses dots to represent like percent done I guess or like how much is done or maybe even how many folders I actually don't know that um, but as you can see it's currently dumping t and and it'll just go straight into the texture folder so obviously as you can see it's gonna go into a Reggie folder within the, the SD card so um so basically, once you, once you go to the SD card, you're going to select Reggie, like, yeah, that's going to be the folder that it's dumping to in the root. So make sure that if you have a slash Reggie in your SD card, make sure that's not already in use, <laughs> um, like, with things that might be overwritten, like, the, the Reggie dumper might overwrite, um, because I actually don't know what would happen in that scenario. I don't know if it would actually overwrite or if it would just break. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but, yeah, anyway. So, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to go about using uh, Reggie. And, yeah, so, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, do subscribe. If you have not done so already, goodbye. Thank you.